can you focus really focus for 25 minutes if your answer is no then you have to come out follow me using the agile pomodoro technique the pomodoro technique is what i'm going to present today as my agile tool my name is akash bussa and i'm going to present this tool the main objective of pomodoro technique is to maximize the productivity this complete technique focuses on time management a pomodoro is nothing but a 25 minute work plus 5 minutes of break as you can look into the picture a timer is present that has a 25 minutes in its in the shape of a tomato when you start at the 25 minutes the timer rotates to the number 0 and it rings when it reaches to the 0 and this 25 minutes work is equal to a 5 minutes of break after you have done it then what is it the pomodoro technique was developed by francesco cirillo in the late 80s while he was in the university like many of us in our early college years he was struggling with time management as you know time management is very huge thing to follow and implement he used it for studies as he could not concentrate on his studies so he decided to focus on study without any distractions by using a kitchen timer in the shape of a tomato or pomodoro in italian so now you can guess how this pomodoro word came the pomodoro is an italian word he was successful in his work so this before was implemented for the kitchen as a kitchen timer but now we are going to implement it as a software timer to develop a software product so the pomodoro technique was created with the aim of using time as a valuable ally to accomplish what we want to do the way we want to do it and to empower us to continually improve work or study processes so completely I'm a, my agile pomodoro it's it's a way of managing your time how the scrum is related to pomodoro technique the scrum consists of product backlog and it's related to activity inventory list in the pomodoro technique Second is the sprint backlog. It is related to to-do today list in the Pomodoro technique. Third is the sprint length. It is related to Pomodoro length in the Pomodoro technique. Fourth is review. It is related to assessment at end of the day. And fifth is retrospective, which is related to assessment at end of the day. Before I say about the steps to be followed, the Pomodoro can boost your personal productivity with just simple time management trick. It makes you work using a timer for every 25 minutes of work done you give yourself a reward that may be snacks, internet or mobile in the 5 minutes of break. So here you can get a clear information like in the 5 minutes of break you are not going to do anything or think anything about the work you have done in the 25 minutes or the status updation but just do other, other part other than work like you can have food or you can browse something on the internet or use mobile if you want to speak with someone. So now to discuss about the steps to be followed while using the Pomodoro technique. First you need to choose a task and then set time for 25 minutes. Now if the task is going to complete for 1 hour then you are, you are going to select 4 Pomodoros and set time for 25 minutes for each Pomodoro. That means each Pomodoro consists of 25 minutes and work on the task without stopping until the 25 minutes complete for each Pomodoro and you are going to only stop once the timer completes the 25 minutes and you are going to use the 5 minutes break to perform your other activities there are six objectives that you need to follow while using the agile pomodoro technique one find out how much activity and pomodoro task as i have explained earlier two is learn to protect your pomodoro from internal and external inter interruptions these interruptions may be like you get message alerts or you need to attend a meeting or you need to perform any program while you are so see that you are not interrupted by this Three is make accurate estimation of how many Pomodoros we need for activity. Four is spend on work but before do a recap at beginning and a review at the end. So spend on work is nothing but here before you are going to do the work just have a recap on how much work you have done or what you are going to do and after the work is done just do a review on what the work you have done. So that is you are not going to spend much of the time in your Pomodoro time that is of the 25 minutes. Fifth is set timetable according to your time good for organizing work because each person usage of time may be different. Sixth is find personal objective like checking and improving efficiency or quality of your work. I am going to explain about the burn down chart later. Now I am going to explain the tool my agile pomodoro. You can see the tool here 
Myagile Pomodoro I have downloaded from the sourceforge.net this is a tool or application that you can download from this it's a free version and can be used very easily by any person now you can look over the page of my agile pomodoro 3.0.1 is a version the f there are different options and the top of the screen file view data help now in the file you have new tasks splash screen preferences exit and in view you have backlog our iteration done charts data and help so in the file I'm going to select the preferences because I just want to change all the preferences I have changed the preferences uh, generally the Pomodoro length will be for 25 minutes the short brand length will be 5 minutes the long brand length will be 8 uh, will be 8 minutes the maximum number of tasks the maximum number of problems per day and ma number of Pomodoros per set are different but I'm going to change all this because there is very, uh, I can explain this in a very less amount of time the Pomodoro length I'm reducing it to 10 minutes and the short print length I'm reducing it to 1 minute and the long brand length is 5 minutes so the Pomodoro length is for each Pomodoro I'm going to spend 10 minutes of time and after 10 minutes I'm going to take a 1 minute break and the long brand length is after the 4 Pomodoros I'm going to take 5 minutes of break so the maximum number of, maximum number of Pomodoros per task I'm going to select is 4 Pomodoros and the maximum number of Pomodoros per day will be 5 and number of Pomodoros per set is 3 ok you can see the other options you can save this and now you see the preferences are saved and I'm going to restart my Agile Pomodoro now my tool has been restarted now I can create in the create tool now you have different options that you need to enter now the title is nothing but you can enter like task 1 and it is my title and the type may be the type of work you are going to perform is it on the bug or change request GFAQ, duplicate epic impediment or spike or user story so the task 1 is on user story and the number of pomodoros required is 2 and the story points is nothing but different story points you need to define iterations number of iterations and the author is nothing but the person who is going to perform on that and the place he is doing it description is um, performing on user story is what I'm going to enter okay now I have entered all the options and I'm going to save it you can see now the task is added to backlog in that way I'm going to enter few more tasks and this task 2 can be related to change request then 2 Pomodoros then 2 story points iteration 1 author me myself FIU then on change request is the description I'm going to and save it now the second task is also added to backlog you can see in the backlogs what are the tasks that I have defined task 1 task 1 task 2 this is the task I have defined well before I'm going to delete the task you can delete the task whenever you want now I'm going to create another task task 3 and this type is maybe maybe okay bug and estimated Pomodoros is 2 story points is 1 iteration number of iterations is 3 so author is okay I'm going to enter a different name in place of I U to remove bug that is what is my description I'm going to save and this task is added to backlog now in the backlog I can see there are three different tasks I need to complete today and it is going the, the, the type for each task is defined here the title represents the tasks the title that I have given for the problems and type is nothing but which type of task is it user story you are going to work on or is it the change request that you are going to work on or is the bug that you are going to work on so this is the estimated number of formulas required for each of the tasks so all the Pomodoros for all of the tasks are 2 and the story points are 1, 2 and 1. There are 2 story points and iterations are 1 for task 1, 1 for task 2 and 3 for task 3. Now, now you can see in the below of the screen the details of each task. 
you can find that the date created when is the 3rd December 2014 title task 1 type user story estimator Pomodoro's 2 and have not done any of the permits of execution 0 so it's myself place FI and description you can edit if you want to edit anything or the details that you have entered while creating then you can write a storyline you can import any file or you can export any file while performing the task now I select the task and just go send this all to the iterations you can see the tasks are going to the iteration now in the iterations you can find task 1 task 2 and task 3 and in the beside on the left on the right of the screen you can find the Pomodoro timer in the shape of tomato now for the task 1 the timer is 10 it is set to 10 as I showed the Pomodoro time I have set to 10 and I'm going to start the timer you can see it's recording the it's, uh, it started the timer has started so due to lack of time I'm going to reduce the time to zero let's wait for this 47 seconds to complete so in this meantime I'm going to explain you about the Pomodoro so once this Pomodoro completes its first time or first Pomodoro then a cross point is going to be indicated on this so here you can see first when the task 1 is started it is it is shown or visible in red in red color the estimated are two pomodoros and have not completed any of the pomodoros so it's represents zero the story point is one and iteration is also one now you can see the time 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 so the Pomodoro is completed, first Pomodoro is completed and you can see here the one Pomodoro of two Pomodoros are completed and the timer has started for the break that is one minute of break. So let's wait for the one minute to complete. The problem was straightforward. The just the main motive of it is to high level of to remove the high level of distraction and interruption plus a low level of attention and focus. So it completely focuses on time management. So this agile tool was very easy for me to use since the, it's very easy to understand and each and every person can perform this task uh, because time management is a very important and difficult task to perform. Okay, the timer is reaching to zero. Let's wait. You can see the timer rings and the break has finished. Now the second Pomodoro has started. The timer has finished and the second Pomodoro has started. Let's reduce the time. So, as I told you, there are four different before you choose this technique. First, you have to choose the task, set timer for 25 minutes, work on the task. When time is up, stop for five minutes. So, you are not going to get distracted, or you should be completely dedicated in, while doing this or using this tool. You, you should not waste your time while you are assessed because you are assessed the deadline. Now, again, the second power door has completed and the one brick has started. So you can see the color of the task one has changed to green. That means the complete Pomodoros are completed and you can just press the done button and this task, are you sure to complete those tasks? Yes, I have completed the task and I shall S. Now task two, I'm again going to start the timer for the first Pomodoro. And again, you can see the indicator with the red. The zero Pomodoro is completed. I'm going to reduce the time. Because I need to explain about the tool. Again, I would like to mention this tool is available on www.sourceforge.net. It's a it's a free tool. You can download it and use it. And uh, there are many applications that are developed on this uh, technique, the Pomodoro timer technique. The Pomodoro timer technique is nothing but 
you have to use it only when you cannot manage your time pomodoro an italian as i've told you so you can see the timer uh, moving to zero and the first pomodoro for the task 2 is going to get completed see the bell rings did you see the alarm yes i'm going to stop it and now start for the second pomodoro reducing the time this is for the second pomodoro Again, the second pomodoro is completed. I'm going to stop the timer and press the done button. Are you sure? Yes, I have completed the task too. And if I see in the done, you can see on December 3rd, 2014, I have completed the task one that is user story. Two by two pomodoros are completed, and the second task is also completed. Change request two by two. Now I'm going to So when these tasks are done, there is another task to be done. Task 3, I am going to start the timer, reduce the timer to 0. I have to complete the 3 tasks. Till then, uh, we can refer to the PPT, the objectives, steps to be followed, as I mentioned. If it is a large organization and you have a team of five members, all the people have to be using this tool because if the people beside you cannot use this tool, then he he will be responsible for distracting you while doing your work. So the first Pomodoro is completed. Now we are going to the second Pomodoro. Stop it and I'm going to start the second Pomodoro. So it is mainly designed to improve your focus and your own productivity by eliminating distractions and maintain concentration by taking breaks at optimal times. So you can understand that optimal times is nothing but you are going to take optimal duration for completing the tasks in, in segmenting the task into equal partitions. That is if you are going to complete it for a particular time, maybe suppose 2 hours you are going to take for completing the task one. Then you will take 8 pomodoros that is each task for 25 minutes. And you are going to take 5 minutes break for every Pomodoro you are going to complete. So he decided to do this task in general way. It's a very simple tool to perform even a complex project you can use this tool. You can see the second Pomodoro is also completed. I'm going to stop the timer and I'm done with the three tasks. Okay, I am done with the three tasks. You can edit any of the options you want or select this task. Now, I am going to the charts. So, you can see the two charts that are available for us the burn down chart and the burn up chart. The burn down chart is going to represent the adaptivity that is. 
it is related to adaptive quick and work remaining versus available effort so the x and y axis represent the work remaining versus the available effort that is how much effort still you need to put and how much work is remaining now here the bundle chart is going to represent the number of pomodoros i am going to select this option for the number the width and length 10% for the y axis and 10% for the x axis and target to 15% then burn up chart also you can represent you need to give as you know what uh, the burn down chart and burn up chart represent okay i am going to configure them check create and you can see the burn up, burn up chart has been created so this is the example for just two tasks i have done it uh, during my practice and i have gained a burn up chart so this is the burn down chart i have got so it's you can see the story points and the tasks on the both sides on the y axis so the story points and the time i took on 5th may i took 50 minutes then on 6th may it's 100 7th may is 150 so this target is nothing but how your work has been classified yeah from the it's a diagonal line from x to y axis so this is how I'm, i have been using the pomodoro technique it's a very simple tool and thank you for listening to me this is akash signing off